Why do some northern states that bound alcohol sales still receive tax money generated by its sales? It can never happen again. I will stand and contest it seriously. That is the governor of Amos, that's the governor of uh, Cross River State, Governor Newsom Wiki. He said this is absurd. I mean, Wiki has taken this thing and is really, you know, calling out all the wrong things Buhari has been doing. How he has been enriching the North at the expense of the South. Now, in the northern state, especially a state like Kaduna, you see that they've bound uh, alcohol, uh, pigri, and the rest of them. But guess what? They get tax, yeah, VAT from these same things. And we is stunned. It was like, I mean, how does this happen? In June this year, we are in September already. In June, Wiki said, well, um, Kanu State generated... Kano State generated, I mean, 2.8 billion from VAT. They got the whole 2.8 million from the federal government. And he compared it not with any other state, to his own very state. His own very state, Rivers. Rivers generated 15.1 billion the same June. Guess what? Guess how much Rivers got? 4.7 billion. Where is the others? The federal government took it and sent to states that have stopped the sales of alcohol and some things they feel, I mean, they don't want. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Why do some northern states that bound alcohol still receive tax money generated by it? No more. It cannot happen. Governor Newsom Wiki has been in the news recently over his strong stand against the remit of value-added tax, VAT, to the central government, according to a report by People Glazier. The River State government has already approached a federal high court in Port Harcourt seeking to take over control of the VAT structure in his state. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, River State emerged second in terms of total internal revenue generated, IGR, in 2020. Based on this, Wiki argued that states like River States with high tax remittance should not be saddled with the responsibility of providing revenue for some northern states with entirely restricted policies on sales of goods and, and, uh, and services. Some northern states have laws that bound the consumption of alcohol, yes, in public places, in occasions, local security operatives in those states they have stopped the sales of this item and burned down beers and alcohol alcoholic drink to enforce a no alcohol law in this region no problem now these alcoholic drinks are in the considerably at the considerably large vat revenue source in my own state most states that make up the top 10 in terms of internal generated revenue, do not have laws that restrict the consumption of this alcohol in their states. The question now is, why do some northern states that bound alcohol receive the revenue from the tax generated from the same alcohol they bound? They should not take that money. Is wrong. Is our police responsive for ensuring the ban on alcohol credited by punch? The answer is that Nigeria operates a federal system of sharing revenue when the Federal Inland Revenue System, FIROS, successfully generates revenue for the federal government through tax. The federal government shares the revenue according to a formula of the states. That is why northern states that have banned alcohol still receive revenue generated by the same alcohol from other states. Wiki said this is not acceptable and the right thing must be done. Now that this has been established, is Governor Wiki insisting that the federal government should control the VAT or states should control? Of course, every state should control their VAT. From the angle of the natural person, I think it would be wrong for VAT to be controlled by the federal government anymore. Get what you deserve and don't come and impose yours on others. So, this is what is happening. Northern states that says they don't want sales of some item 
cannot now get those very items money. It's not done. It's not done. Because according to the saying, you reap whatever you sow. So you have not reaped, you have not sown anything like that. So what are you, what are you reaping? You did not put anything on the ground. What are you expecting to reap? If you put something on the ground, of course you should, you should be expecting to get something from that. But you haven't put anything on the ground. Where are you, where are you thinking of getting that thing from? So it's as, it's as clear as day and night. The, the, the thing is very clear. There is no need for us to deceive ourselves. What is going on is a clear indication that things are not done decently and in order in Nigeria. And Nigerian government, clearly speaking, we are deceiving ourselves. Most of them are just, you know, they tell you this does not belong to you, it belongs to you. It's a clear indication that some people, you know, are taking from A to give to B. You know, that, that kind of idea is not right at all. It's not a good one. You, you rob Peter to pay Paul. Excuse me. Where, where, do, where do you do that? You rob from Peter to pay Paul. Who does that? So if you think that Peter deserves what he should get, then let Peter get it. If you think Paul deserves what he should get, but don't rob Peter to pay Paul. Don't do that. If you do that, you are cheating Peter and you are at the expense of Paul. Sadly, Buhari's government, I mean, it did not start with Buhari's government, yes? A lot of things, a lot of water has gone below the bridge. And it's just um, now that people like Wike and some other people are beginning to stand up. Truth of this matter is, other governors are beginning to follow suit. But what do we do? How do we sort out this problem? What do we do? There is a lot of imbalance in our government. We need the right people to come into governance. If you think you have what it takes to get into government because you are, you are somebody who truly, really love Nigerians, why not give it your all? Why not give it your all? Join, I mean, start somewhere. Start somewhere. We cannot keep complaining that these people are failing us when we are doing nothing about it. We do something about it when we join in, yeah, and we make the policies. When they are making the wrong policies, we stand up and we say, no, this is wrong. I don't accept this. Because the truth of the matter is when they are making some of those laws and policies, we are not there. So whatever they make now binds on us. But we standing up and saying no, no more. Then we begin to take a different stand and things become different. So leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.